Pose, bring your hands together in front of your heart. Breathing in, circle your arms around and up. Draw your tailbone down, bring hands to touch. As you exhale, arms go wide, forward fold, Uttanasana. Step your right foot back. Drop the right knee down, breathe in to rise up. Take a moment here, feel your body, feel your breathing. And as you exhale, hands come down to the mat, step into plank position. Hold here for a breath. On an exhale, lower down slowly. On an inhale, lift your heart. Breathe out as you go back, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up. As you exhale, step your right foot through. Drop the left knee down, breathe in, rise up. Anjana Asana, low lunge, crescent moon. Breathing out, hands come down, step forward, top of the mat. Inhale and lengthen your spine, halfway, halfway up. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, rise up, nice and steady. And hands come down to the center of the chest. Let's add in a chair pose. Breathe in, bend your leg, shift the weight back towards your heels. Draw your belly in a little bit. Keep breathing. Good. So the alignment is just a way to connect to your body, to become a little more present. Notice if there's places where you feel tense, like your toes, your face, your shoulders. Let them soften. As you breathe out, fold down. Same thing, <clears throat> leading with the left leg, step your left foot back, drop the knee down, breathe in, rise up, press through your feet as you lift your arms up. Exhale, hands come down, step back into your plank pose, see that your wrists are in line with your shoulders, lift the thighs up a little bit and draw your tailbone down, take one more breath, doing great. As you exhale, lower slowly, Inhale this time into your cobra or maybe into upper facing dog, lifting the knees up, outer upper arms, roll back, strong legs. And breathe out, downward facing dog. Take one moment, connect back to your breathing. On an inhale, left leg rises. On an exhale, step your left foot through. Drop the right knee, breathe in, sweep the arms. Exhale, lower your hands down and step forward one more time, top of the mat. Breathe in, get long through the spine. Breathe out, fold down. Inhale, rise all the way up to stand, to stand. Bringing your hands together if you'd like as you gaze up, strengthen through the legs. And on an exhale, arms come down, hands together in front of the heart. Breathing here. Inhale, chair pose, fierce pose. Exhale, forward fold. Step your right foot back slowly. As the foot comes down, inhale, rise up into high lunge crescent. Warrior two, turn the back foot, extend your arms out wide. And take one more moment here to get rooted. So feel your, feel your feet, feel the strength of your legs supporting your body, the long spine. And as the arms reach wide, you can let your shoulders relax down. And it's okay to move a little, to fidget a little bit, and then to hold and then to take a mo we'll take a moment and hold and breathe, getting still. Right hand down, left palm up, breathe in, lengthen up. Don't have to go too far back here. If you'd like to, you can. It's more about the length through the side body, keeping this left inner thigh open. Take one more breath. On an exhale, let's come into extended side angle pose. You can drop the left arm to the thigh, reach the right arm overhead, uh, only if that's okay in the shoulder, so here or here, pressing down through the back foot, hugging the outer left hip in. Breathe 
breathing here. Press up, warrior two. Good, hands to the heart center. Pivot the back foot, come back into your high lunge press and you can shorten the stance a little bit for stability. Breathing in, here's where we'll get a little more creative, a little more unconventional as the Bhakta people love. This is also a great practice for um, February during the month where um, the sun is moving through Aquarius. Aquarius loves to be unconventional. Aquarius also, like Vata, needs grounding. Right hand comes down, align your wrist with your shoulder, turn belly, turn chest, extend up, feel the back leg, extend up through the left arm, feel the back leg, take one more breath. Press down through your feet, rise all the way up, a twisted, a rotated high lunge. Whoa. Get your balance if you can, breathing here for one more moment. And then the right hand comes down again, left arm extends. Left hand comes down, just frame your front foot, just pause, pause for a moment in your uh, runner's lunge. <clears throat> and then we'll rotate onto the edge of the right foot, the back foot. Slide the left foot about halfway down your mat, so your toes are aiming towards the side edge of the mat, and extend your left arm up. For a modified variation of side plank, pressing through the left foot. For stability, you can stay here, or float your left foot on top of your right. Maybe extend your top arm overhead, Tipping the outer left hip forward a little bit will help to connect you into your abdominal muscles. Take one more moment. So we take our time. We don't rush. It's more strengthening to go slowly, in fact. Come into plank pose. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale for your back bend. And exhale into downward facing dog. Lift your heels up high as you bend your knees, stick your butt out, look forward, and either step, step, or a little hop up to you to the top of your mat. Breathe in, get long through the upper body. Breathe out, soften and fold. Inhale, rise up, strong and steady. Hands to the heart. And let's go on to the second side. Arms reach down. Inhale, circle, lift, exhale, fold slowly, like you're diving off a board into the water. Little bend in the right leg, step the left foot back. So remember that each transition is a part of the practice. Sometimes we think it's the poses and we want to get there, and maybe we're even a little bit sloppy about getting there but um, a mindful practice, in a mindful practice, which we're doing today, we move slowly through each transition. Remembering that they're just as important, warrior two, as the, the pose itself. <clears throat> Maybe even more important. So how do you move through your transitions? How you move through your transitions tells you something about your personality, about how you live your life, Maybe a little bit of bouncing here. And then we'll get still and quiet. Peaceful warrior. Breathe out as you come into extended side angle pose. Let this right sh shoulder slide down away from the ear. Really root down through the back foot, the left foot. Strong legs here, so you're not just <laughs> kitty yoga, so you're not just dropping into it, but you're pushing the floor away as well. You get that balance between the opposite elements. Inhale, rise up, warrior two. Here we go, hands to the heart. 
turn the back foot. So pivot on your back foot and then shorten the stance a little bit if you need to for stability back into our high lunge. Breathe out, begin to reach your arms forward, hug your right hip in a little bit and rise up. There we go. Right hand down. So really find your base first. Remember that's what it's about today. And then turn. So you get a nice twist in the right places. You're not overdoing it. Take one more breath in your twist. Here we go. We're going to hug up through the legs. I'm going to connect to your core center here as you rise up. Ooh. There we go. And now we're in a high twisted lunge. Set the left hand down again. Reach the right arm up. Runner's lunge. So your hands um, can be on blocks here if you have blocks. By all means, you can bring the floor up to you, create a little more space in the upper body. Now pivot onto the edge, the pinky toe side of your uh, left foot, and slide the right foot about halfway down the mat. So toes are aiming now towards the long side of the mat. Press down through the right foot, lift your hips and reach your right arm up. You can stay here, or you can float your right leg on top of your left leg. Maybe extend that top arm overhead if you'd like to feel more length through the top of the body, the right side of the body. Now use your breath here as the pose becomes a little more challenging to hold. Plank pose on an inhale, on an exhale, lower. Inhale, flip over the toes, lift the heart. Exhale, really draw from the pit of the belly to go up into down dog. Child's pose, drop your knees down. You can either slide the knees together or slide the knees wider apart. Come up to a seated position, any comfortable seated position. And we'll just take a moment here to connect back to our breathing. So that was a short sequence. I will be posting longer ones to give you an idea, bringing hands to the heart center, to give you an idea of this balance that we can create between um, the movement, um, maybe a more creative sequence, uh, and also, yet also, moving mindfully, moving in a way that is supportive to body and mind and all parts, uh, all parts of ourselves. Bow your head down towards your heart. Namaste.